The NTSB has determined that seconds before the derailment, the train was traveling at 106 miles an hour heading into a 50 mile per hour curve. Emergency braking was applied, but the train slowed to only 102 miles an hour before the data recording ended. Sadly, eight people were killed and more than 200 people were injured as a result of this accident. We know that a properly installed and functional positive train control, or PTC, would have prevented this accident. PTC is technology that is designed to prevent overspeed derailments as well as train-to-train -train collisions, incursions into roadway work protection zones, and proceeding through misaligned switches. The accident we have investigated have shown us that we need technology that can step in when humans fail due to distraction, medical conditions, or other factors. We have received full cooperation from the crew in their interviews and follow-up conversations. As you know, we are evaluating the engineer's cell phone records to correlate the timing of the data and voice activity on May 12th with the accident timeline. This process involves reviewing the timestamps from the phone records, which are from different time zones, with data from other recorded information, such as the locomotive event recorder, the outward-facing video camera, radio communications, and surveillance video.